Hello everyone, welcome to Cornflower Crafts. My nickname is Corn. And I told you how my next video was gonna be decorating those postcards that I made. And I just wanted to show you some of the ones that I have. I got these at a little, a very small antique mall years ago, years ago. And as you see, this is a reproduction and it even says so here. And, um, but how beautiful is this? And, and the font. I mean, how gorgeous is that? And another one. And then, because I can't, I don't know about y'all, but I love, love, love to go to antique uh, stores and everything, but my pocketbook doesn't like to go, if you know what I'm saying. But I was able to find a few things. Now, there's prices on some of these. These are true antiques. But uh, I didn't pay that much for them. <laughs> I would go in and if there was a section that was having a sale, especially if it was a mall, you know, one of the sellers was like, oh, I've got to move out some of this merchandise. Then I would grab them. Um, I love rabbits very, very much. Um, we have some. They're not... Uh, in the house they are outside they have their own lives but they come and visit us daily for food actually <laughs> not for us but for food um and this is one of them as you see it is also embossed here around the rabbits and the flowers as well when i show you the back you can see them i think the camera's picking up the embossing that's there and there. It's just beautiful. So there's one with the metallic silver back there. And then this one, a metallic background on this one as well. A joyous Easter. How precious are these bunnies? There's the back of that one. And then I also got this one. And it has a stain right there, but I think that makes it look better. If you know what I'm saying? When they're old, when they're old and been around a long time. That's what we want, isn't it? Now, this is $7. There's no way I paid $7 for that. <laughs> no, no. Um, these I leave in the sleeves. Um, look, at, look at the color. Look how old. And this is called the Old Turnstile. And there's the back of it. I leave them in the sleeves because of, of the oils in our fingers. You know how that goes. And then accidental meeting. Isn't that gorgeous? I just want to show you all the ones. I don't have a lot, but the ones I have, I absolutely treasure. Okay. And I'm going to put those over there and show you what I came up with. Um, the first ones... <laughs> Um, remember, these are the ones that I got. They're not postcards. I made them into postcards. I think, are these safe the date? I'm not sure. <laughs> remember the invitations that I told you I got from, um, Hobby Lobby on clearance? Well, what I did here, they look very simple, don't they? But for those of you who do a lot of paper crafting, you know, no, nah, that's not simple. Because we're dealing with this is uh, this background here. Because remember, this is the only white part on here. So the background is uh, the ink is spun sugar, and this is through a Tim Holtz stencil. And this is a fussy cut because it was supposed to be more elaborate, but it wouldn't have fit here. So I kept cutting down and cutting down. This is a die cut here. And I do not know, this might, no, I don't know, I don't know if it's scissors or not, it's, I don't think so. Um, but this is the nesting dies, and I grabbed that size, and this uh, paper pad is Stamperia. And then I took, not my stickles this time, but I thought I've had this in my stash for many, many years. You remember when, I don't even know if they still do it, when Michael's had Studio G for decent prices. And I either use it, because remember these aren't, at least in my opinion, they look like they're as tiny as the stickles, the opening. 
but I personally think they're a little bit larger. So sometimes what I do with these, I didn't do it here though, is I take one of my brushes, maybe like this one, and I put this on anything that, you know, washes off well and put it on there and just paint it on and then wash my brush real well after. So that's what I did. Hopefully you get to see the the glitter on that. And then on the edges here, I don't know if that's showing up either, but I got this um, metallic acrylic paint and it's multi-surface. And if you all see this, I'm pretty sure Target puts that up, but I'm not a real big Target shopper since they stopped doing the crafts in the dollar spot. Um, I'm pretty sure you can even, I think I got this on Amazon, y'all. But when I looked, because I thought, boy, that looks familiar, that handmade modern. But it says here that, um, pretty sure, yeah, Target Corporation. So, um, <laughs> But that's around there, and that is put on with this brush. See, it's a little bit, um, it's stiff, but it's a little bit uh, janky. And so for me, I just put it in, you know, keep going like this. Now you can do, I've done one around like that, but I thought this looked cooler to do. So you'll see some of it is sticking out more than the others. I just thought that was fun. So we have gold around the edges on that. So I did that one. And this goes in. Remember those three journals? I'm still. Because <laughs> I keep doing all the ephemera. This goes in another. Same thing. But this time I went around with the gold. Um, and actually painted it like you would normally paint it. And if you keep going around it. It won't be so transparent. But I like the transparency personally on these. And um, then I put the glitter, I hope that's showing up, on the icing so that it'll look like sugar. Look like sugar, sugar. And then the last one of these three, you see the background and these is all done in the sponge sugar, the stenciling. Then I did the same here. I put it on the frosting and just a tiny dab on the cherry. And then the gold. Okay, so these guys, this is my favorite, so I'm putting it like that. <laughs> these guys go in the journals, that I'm, the three journals that I'm working on. And then I thought, you know what? I've never done Christmas in July, to be honest, and nor have I done Christmas other than like a couple of months before Christmas. So I was like, hey, with the postcards, why not? So, the first ones I'm going to show you are the shabby chic ones, which, um, yeah, look, we've got lots of, that, I think that one's painted on, I think. Um, even on the birdie, a little bit of stickles. Um, what, what I do, the same thing, I'm stenciling here, and this ink is, oh boy. That is speckled egg, which is perfect for the bird. And this is Stamperia um, paper as well. And I used, I did tons of cards, um, I think it was two years ago with this uh, paper pad. And I had a few things left, but I'll show you what I had. More like journaling cards like these. And I was like, well, I had two other ones. And see, this is the bag. Isn't that beautiful? That um, Stamperia is so wonderful. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on the rubberbuggy.com as well. And um, they just have just gorgeous. I mean, the artwork is stunning, if you ask me. So what I do is I just start fussy cutting. Fussy, fussy, fussy cutting. Fussy cut out the greeting. I was going to stamp it, but I was like, nope, this is so pretty. And then fussy cut all of this out. <laughs> there was a candle here, by the way. You'll see it in a minute. And um, that's how this little baby came out. I didn't do the gold yet. I, I'm i not sure I'm wet. Do you all do this? 
do you all make things and then you think, okay, should I come back and ink my edges here? I didn't ink them here as well. Or should I, because I, I often thought, do I do the vintage photo to bring up the pine cones and the little birdie? Or do I do a pink so that it just brings up, especially the darker pink there, but I don't know. That's debatable. You know, that's still, that's still a maybe. I told you you'd find that um, the candle later. Here's the candle. And stickles here and here. And then here on the little berries. And highlighted on these berries. Um, the stencil behind here that I did, it is my favorite. Now, this one, I did go ahead and do the pink and that is the spun sugar i guess to pick up the paler pink here in the candle but i did go around that one not this side but that side so that's how that one came out and then this one being my favorite <laughs> because of the subject matter how precious how precious is a bunny in pearls now come on <laughs> Oh, I just like that. Oh, yep. So a little bit of a little bit of glitter here and here. Then glitter. These are punches. These um, snowflakes, and that's Martha Stewart, y'all. And again, like I said, fussy cut, fussy cut, fussy cut, fussy cut. So that's how these guys came out for um, Christmas in the shabby chic line. And then when it came to our uh, postcards that, uh, remember, that's Target, years and years ago, I went ahead and stamped this little stain. I'm going to say it's tea. Um, we've never been coffee drinkers here, except our daughter likes coffee, but, but Handsome and I have never been. And um, so I think I put this in vintage photo, I think. And then stamped it. And um, now I know this looks so simple. And this one is because I thought, oh my goodness, that scene, I don't want to cover up anything on that scene. I thought it was precious. And this paper here, remember when I got um, from Hobby Lobby the paper pad that's for all seasons? And it's um, a scrapbook paper. It's, it's not cardstock. And so I thought, what am I going to do? So this was a sticker that lost its its adhesive on the back. So I cut that up and put that here and inked around it. I made my a little box for a gift that he's got on the sled. And the red with the white polka dots. And then this uh, little tiny bow was a punch from Tuesday morning years ago. So I added a little gold inside of the uh, street lamp. And then they had strung little lights here in white, I think. But I took this pen. Do y'all remember these from Dollar Tree? I don't know if they still have them or not. They didn't have a... I don't know if you can hear it, but I always shake it first. Um, it has some still left in it, but I love them because look how gorgeous... Look how gorgeous, if it's showing up, y'all, how gorgeous is that? So I just took this and each one of the lights, I just went do 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 And um, also the star on the top of the tree in gold. And then I thought, what else can I do? It's just, <laughs> I didn't do much with it. So I took this teeny tiny bling and made little headlights on the truck that has the toys coming to the toy store on that one. And then I did this one. And you can see we've got, this is the painted on, that's right. This is painted on, this uh, glitter. And stamped Season's Greetings down here. This is not real Rick Rack, even though I have tons of real Rick Rack from thrift stores. Um, and also from Trina. Um, but this is was a sticker that I had for years and years, and I did go ahead and put more adhesive on the back to make sure it stayed put. And the cardinal is 
Handsome loves a cardinal. And um, then this little bow, I thought if it if it's like an extra, or even if it goes through the mail or an extra in a card that's going through the mail, this bow is from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago, I think. And it's got the uh, foam on the back. So if it hits that machine, do you know what I mean? It's not going to hurt it. So that's how that one came out. They all have that little, I just thought that was fun. <laughs> I just thought that was cute, y'all. Then, then this one. And um, this, I think I got this at the Rubber Bucky. Hopefully you can see the glitter on, on these guys. This was some um, ephemera. And you'll see when they give you that wide, wide, white border, a lot of times I cut it off. Not always, because I left it on the tree, because I thought, snow-wise, you know, it looked great. Um, a stamp deck the halls. And then this is, you'll see all three of these. This is washi that I got from Hobby Lobby on one of the clearance, recent clearance hauls. And what I do with that is I go ahead, and it's because they're clear, and I didn't want to see anything in the background. I put it on white cardstock and then cut it out. And I do use um, extra adhesive too on that. And then this little teeny tiny silver star is from Trim. I just cut that off of Trim. And then this one. And um, this is die cut. The holly. And then this little darling bow was already made. You remember when um, Hobby Lobby sells, um, what is it, the little Christmas? Or let me see if I have them. Oh my, yeah, I do. Yeah, my little Christmas. These guys. That's where I got that. Um, but what I do, because you can pull them apart real, real easy is I put a little bit of Fabri-Tac inside so that it'll stay put. And um, then there's that wash again. And then these, I don't know if they're showing up or not. I've got quite a few little snowflakes on that. And that came, I think that's Dollar Tree, y'all. I'm not sure. Um, I've had it for a few years. I used the white ones in here. And I put them on with Jim Tag. Then we got this one, and there's that washi again. Um, my ornaments, I think a lot of y'all know I've been doing this for years and years, probably 20 some years. If I want to, when I would decorate packages and stuff, you just use this one, this whole punch. And I did it with my glitter paper, and then I also painted on the glitter glue. And that's how that came out. And then I thought we'd do one together. So how are y'all doing? Y'all good? Um, what I did already, because remember, it will take me forever and a day if I decide. When I decide to do these, it's not quick. It's it's not zippity doo da. It's like, hmm, let me see. Do I want that there? Do I want the corners rounded? Do I want that? You know what I mean? I'm one of those. So... This, like I said, all the backgrounds are from that paper pad that I got at Hobby Lobby. It ended up being on clearance at their last clearance, but I had gotten it at 40%. <laughs> uh -oh. Either 40 or 50. I think it was 40. Yeah. But I wanted it because of if you decide also to make a, um, a Christmas journal, they are great for for pages, you know. Okay, so we've got the holly here. Um, this is also from, and I've had that thing for several years, this um, ephemera piece. And I did cut it down some because it was just this big clunk of white. Then I took apart one of those bows, cut these ends like so, um, put on a little bit of, applique there and in the red 
It's almost like a rusty red too, so it's perfect for this. And then I want this to go somewhere around here. <laughs> I'm going to put this ribbon down as well. Let me see, am I? Yeah, I'm good. And somewhere down here, because I thought uh, color-wise, it's just perfect for that little lantern. And then, oh boy, we've got, um, I cut this piece. I want here, maybe, maybe show one of the berries peeking out. And then I stamped on this little red with the white dot. Isn't that cute? It's just so cute. And a Merry Christmas. And I saw that and I was like, well, that's just as bland as it can be. So I ended up, oh, I put them up. Okay, I was gonna show you the die set. It's, um, momentum? I don't know, I, I'm not sure. But I thought, let's do this and this. And what I did, as you see, with the artist's rendering of the holly leaves, they did the darker leaves and then highlighted the um, the veins with a lighter green. I did the opposite. I've got the lighter green and, and did the darker, highlighted with the darker, um, the veins in darker green, which is, I'm not sure, might be this one. No, I don't think so. <laughs> That's more bluish green. Yeah, let's look. Oh, I think it's this one. Yeah. Here we go. Um, which is 243 in the Tombow markers. That's what I did. And uh, I thought we could do this together. I don't know if I mentioned this already. I already put a double-sided tape on the back of this. And yes, I will add extra, <laughs> extra adhesive because... Um, I don't know if I've had this fail or not, but others that were so sweet to send me things, um, it has failed, I guess, through the mail when it gets so hot or something happens, you know, or maybe through those machines. So I'm going to put that there. What do y'all think? I think it's cute if you just answered me. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's put that over here. Okay, so first off, if I want this, I don't want it hanging off just in case. So I want this here, so I don't want this up too high. Okay. And yes, I make it extra long. I'd rather have it too long than too short. Do you know what I mean? Are you all like that too? I'd much rather have that. So how's everybody doing? Are you all looking forward to your weekend? I'm sure probably some of you all are going to be having barbecues and everything. I know some of the kids have been back to school, but a lot have not. A lot of them don't go until right after Labor Day. Um, for me, I'm going to do... This is barely... No, it's not. Boop, boop. That's my gem tag. Right there. There's my barely art glue. I'm just going to do a few dots. You know what I mean? Just to say, stay down, buddy. Stay. Oops. I don't know how far I should go. There we go. All right, Rooney. I need to get this down towards me a little bit, though, because I can't see better. And that's going to go there. didn't put it on as straight as I wish. No, well, that's as you know. Once it's down, it is down. I can't put on anything straight. I should have picked it up towards me. Let me get that off of there. Okay. 
Well, it's not perfect, but guess what? It is handmade and we do the best we can, don't we? And if we do not reach perfection, well, it's not the end of the world, is it? I think a lot of us strive for it, you know? Now, there was a time when I measured this out when it came to excuse me, ribbon and stuff, and I would measure it all out, and then I would put fray check on my ends so they wouldn't fray, but when you're dealing, at least I have no problems in the past, when, when that ribbon is, is prone to fraying, but you've got it on the, uh, there's glue and then the double-sided tape, usually it behaves itself. Not always, but usually. So I'm gonna want this one. What did we say? Let me do this again. I'm gonna want this one. We said leave that little berry alone, didn't we? So I'm gonna want that right around there. Okay. Um, what I would think would be cuter, but I'm not doing it. Um, but if I knew, uh, well, no, flat is better, isn't it? Because this already gives us the applique, puts it up a little bit, gives us some height. But I think this would be cuter if the lantern was on the foam tape, you know, was sitting out a little bit. Wouldn't that be darling? Sitting out like so. I just think that'd be so cute. But that's not what we got going on. Fabric tag, that's my favorite glue. And we are going to put that down here. And as you know, if you work with fabric tag, it um, it does dry clear, but it dries shiny. So a lot of times I don't go to the very end. And you know what I'm going to do, y'all? I'm going to put just a little teeny, if I can, a little teeny bit here. And a little teeny bit here. That didn't really come out there. To place this down the way I want. I've got to hold this up to me, y'all. And that's going to go, I want that little one to show again. So that's going to go right about there. And as you know, with Fabri-Tac, you got, you got a little bit of time to move it around like that. That's another reason I like it so much. Give me time to move it around. And see, that way, by putting that just a little bit here and here, um, you don't see those creases that, were made in the bow. <laughs> to me, it's hanging in the holly. You know what I'm saying? In my head, it's hanging in the holly. <laughs> and we said, oh man, I'm covering up those berries, but let me see, is that my front? And should I go around it? Should I do any? Hmm, should I do like a darker green or, hmm, let's see. Uh, what have I got? I don't think that's going to show up dark. Well, a little bit. And again, if we go around it a couple of times, I need to put my fan on, y'all. Um, it's raining here and it's been super hot and let's see if I got another dollar or something with dark on it let me see here oh yeah here we go um this green is a scrap I'm trying to use up my scraps Okay. Um, and I just knocked over my glue. <laughs> Oops. Then I just knocked. <laughs> I 
Boy, I'm with it today. I don't know. Okay. Now. Yeah, even though I'm covering them up, I think it would be best there. And I think I mentioned earlier, if somebody had told me I was going to be working on Christmas in August, I would have just laughed and said, no. Because with working on Christmas uh, crafts, it puts me definitely in a Christmas mood. Do you know what I mean? So I have a tendency, uh, every once in a while I wait till close to um, with my Christmas cards, but I try not to. Do you know what I mean? Close to the date. I try not to, but then other things, you know, you get busy with other things too. And at one time I was baking for days and I mean all day long into the night, sometimes two, three in the morning. It was nothing to still be doing that at two and three in the morning. Now I have a red dauber. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. That's already. It should be fine. Let's see. This is like barn door. I think it's the color of this one. Okay, so we can have that there. And, oh, let me see something. Do I need to move this over before I do something silly? Do I need to move that over? Let's see, let's see. I want it here and here. Oh, I like this one better. Isn't that funny? Now I'm even picky about which leaves, but this one I did a little darker veins and I want that at the bottom. So how far over? Yeah, I'm going to leave that on there so I can see how where to put this. If I'm coming off there and off there. Okay. The only reason I'm doing that is because I have done it the opposite way before. Just put this, you know, dead center and then thought, why did I do that? <laughs> I sounded, I sounded like Urkel. Did I do that? Okay. So, right about, so it's not going to be dead center. I want to make sure it's at least a little bit straight. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Okay. Now we can do it this way. Should I go? Should I go around them? Let's see, let's see. I think this is cracked pistachio. Let's see, y'all. Is there anything still in there? It's awfully dry, isn't it? I have it in oxide. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that's better. I don't know if y'all can see. And yes, I'm persnickety even about my little tiny things. I'm just persnickety. I was born this way, actually. But that perfection thing, no, that was to try to please one of my parents. <laughs> you know, I was like, if you don't do it perfectly, don't do it at all, that kind of thing in your head. And I don't care how old you get, some of those things just stay in your head forever and ever. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. I'm not sure if y'all can see the difference. <laughs> it is a slight difference. <laughs> Sure, 
that is shut. So we keep that nice. And let's see that one. I don't know if I'm getting out of, hopefully I'm not getting out of frame. So this is going to end up, I want it over even a little bit more. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like I said, I don't want to see a bunch of my glue, but I want it to stay on. Okay. And I want that to be right about here. Okay. And then this one. Take this one here. That's how I want that to be. And then we have a oh boy. <laughs> we have our tiny teeny die cuts with our holly. I can't hardly even pick them up without the these tweezers. Maybe we should go here and here. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I can do it. Kind of. Here, here. And then this be our third. Um, like I said, I would show you this. It's a cool one. I got it at Hobby Lobby for 75% off a year or two ago. Maybe a couple of years. Look at that. Give it a little zing. So let's. Let's do the barely for these guys. It is so quiet in this room. You can hear my you hear my chair going. I I need a new chair. For the craft room but i'm too cheap to get it this one has a personality times 10 and um it needs to go to be honest it's old but I'm, i won't give it up it's just like these tweezers there's certain things until they're dead you know i'm like no <laughs> And the chair isn't gone yet, but it's on its way out. It really is. The chair is, you hear it? That isn't me, y'all. <laughs> it is the chair for real. Oh, it's, this isn't a comedy now. <laughs> okay. Oopsie. Put a little bit too much on that one. Too much on that berry. Let me see. Let me get this, which is. A dry about that I put quite a bit on that one as well okay so we've got our little holly we've got our little I like it being off to be honest I like that I like it being off so that in the middle it would have been closer to that so but I like that I think that's fun now when it comes to our flame in the lantern Let's use our pen. I love these things. Sorry, guys, but I have bad eyesight. See how yummy that is? It's just yummy. Okay. I'm going to get it close to me, guys, to make sure. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's the way I want it. Okay. So we've got that. Do we want gold on anything else, y'all? Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't think so. Now, we do want this though. I'll tell you, I'll show you what I'm, well, you don't need me to show you. I was going to say, I'll show you what I'm talking about with the paintbrush, but you all don't need that, do you? Now, let's do our little highlights on our berries. these little berries sneaking around here. Now, here as you see that the artist who did this put a little snow here, here, and here. And so we're going to put it on some of the branches. see how that's coming out. So we got it like so. And that glue is making it want to misbehave a little bit, but we'll, we'll flatten it out. Well, I just stuck my, <laughs> I just stuck my finger, my thumb in it. <laughs> but I like it. But if you don't like it, then you go like this. And just move your glitter over. Yeah, it's fine. So, nope. I got one more piece that needs to go. There we go. See, now we're all right. And that's what we came up for this one. With. And like I said, once it dries completely, I'll put it under a heavy old book and it'll be fine. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today and I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening. Bye bye everybody. Take good care.